With us now are Joel and Taylor, and they are two members of Vivace. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> nice to have you here. So I was asking you if you were original members because the original group started uh, in 2010. Mm -hmm. or, okay, and how was that group originally formed? Well, it, they were formed for the Vancouver Winter Olympic Games, so they had their first performance then, and the founding member, Tiffany DeRosier, who couldn't be here today, um, she started uh, the group, it's her baby, and she's a fantastic soprano vocalist, and we just, we are both new members of the group, I think came in a year and a half ago. And I've been a part of Vivace for about three years now. And you were originally a fan, right? Yes. Like, almost like a stalker. So tell us about that moment. Yeah, um, I had been a huge fan of Vivace, um, and they were touring the U.S., and they were coming pretty close to, to my city, so which is Pittsburgh. And I drove down to meet them, and Tiffany, Tiffany and I connected on social media, and she asked me out for drinks after the show just to kind of meet each other, and we kind of sing the same kind of music. So uh, when the group restructured, she asked me to be one of the tenors. So it's just kind of a magical, organic thing. And what is the genre? What is the style? A little bit of opera, a little bit sure, of Sure, yeah. Vivace is classical crossover. So it blends the genres of classical and opera meets pop and contemporary. So you get a little bit of both um, genres. for. And your singing background, how did you start out as a singer? I started when I was four. My, okay. gran my grandmother paid for my singing lessons, and then I went into music school for opera. So I have a master's in music and opera. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like, see how beautiful and long your neck oh, is? Oh, thank you. Yeah, does that help when you are using your instrument in that way? Do you th feel like, you know, if you have good vocal cords that that can translate well to being a good singer? Um, definitely. I think everyone has the ability to sing and okay. just lessons help with that. I'm not sure about the length of my neck, but thank so you so yes. much. Yes, yes. <laughs> and how about you? How did you start, Joel? Um, I actually just loved music from the time I was a kid. I started writing music when I was five. Okay. And then I started taking private lessons with an opera uh, classical crossover pop coach um, for the last 15 years. So it just kind of developed on my own with, with a close teacher. And, Built it from there. When you first met, uh, made the group, who was the first person that you celebrated it with? How did you tell someone? Did you be like, ah, oh, I'm in it, I got it? I think my parents. I think I was like, um, I came in as a sub to begin with, and then the news came that they were looking for another soprano, and I'm like, I made Vivace. Yeah. And how about you? Um, well, I live on a horse farm, so I think I ran out to the barn and told my favorite horse, I was like, dude, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the name of your favorite horse? Henry. I love that. <laughs> you guys are the sweetest. So we, we're doing the world premiere here on broadcast television for this new Christmas song that yeah. you are both participating in. Tell us about the song. So the song is called Merry Christmas, Everybody. It was written by Academy Award winner Frankie Previtt, who wrote the music for Dirty Dancing. He wrote, I've had the time of my life. And you might have heard eyes. of it. Yeah, yeah maybe <laughs> heard that once or twice. Um, so they re uh, Frankie reached out to us, I want to say it was August, actually to record Hungry Eyes as a new cover, but then had the idea to throw us this Christmas song and be like, hey, you know, you want to record this? I wrote this a long time ago for Christina Aguilera and she didn't want it. So it's just been sitting here on the shelf. For 20 years, sitting, sitting away. Just so. waiting. Yeah. You're just waiting, just waiting for, for your voices to bring it to light. So, I guess. Yeah. so give us a little tiny bit because then we're going to go to the clip, but okay. just a little bit. You ready? Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if this is right now. <laughs> Now it comes to remind us This time each year In all of his splendor Saint Nicholas appears There's children singing Joy to the world As we start celebrating Our hearts fill with cheer Beautiful. Let's take a look. Now it comes to remind us This time each year In all of his splendor Saint Nicholas appears There's children singing Joy to the world As we start celebrating our hearts fill with cheer. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a happy new year. It's the 
We have a new classic, right? <laughs> a new Christmas classic. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. I know that you're going to be touring with this. I know that you're having so much fun together. And I thank you because I, I know originally you grew up in Canada. Mm -hmm. I know that you came from Pittsburgh today. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing the joy, the Christmas joy in our hearts goes all through the year. Um, but it was a pleasure to have you here for this big premiere. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. You. <laughs> Please follow them on all their social media. And I'd love to hear what you think of that song. Thanks for watching.